I'm hurting out here. I'm, I'm playing the number one player in the world. He's a three-time French Open champion. I'm not going to win this match anyway. So what's the difference whether I quit now or whether I go I finish this match and I still lose? There's no difference to me. I've had a lot of great moments, but my most memorable day in tennis, I'd say is, you know, it's, it's still hard to compete with, um, you know, with winning the French Open in 89. And then with the events happening in Tiananmen during that time, made that entire tournament very much a fairy tale drama type of movie that uh, you, know, you wonder if it's actually a true story. If I wasn't out playing my match or practicing, uh, you know, I was glued to the television set and you know, watching the events unfold there in Beijing. It was actually easy to gain courage from knowing that students were giving their lives for something that they believed so you know, so deeply about. Never in my wildest dreams or imagination could I imagine what would take place there on the clay courts of Roland Garros. Actually, I played very well the first couple of sets. Yvonne was just a little bit better than I was. And then obviously the fifth set is something that I can't really explain. Cramps were getting to the point where I was not able to run the way that I normally am able to run. And at 2-1 in the fifth, I was very, very close to just defaulting the match. Actually, I started walking toward the chair umpire at one point, and I was thinking to myself, well, I'm just going to call it a day here because, I mean, let's face it, I'm, I, I'm cramping, I'm hurting out here, I'm, I'm playing the number one player in the world, he's a three-time French Open champion. I'm not going to win this match anyway, so what's the difference whether I quit now or whether I go and I finish this match and I still lose? There's no difference to me. I got to the service line and I just, I had an unbelievable conviction of heart. And what dawned on me was that if I were to go and I were to quit at that particular time, that every other time that I would be faced with that same circumstance, if I were to quit once, the second time would be easier, the third time would be even easier, and every single time after that would become easier and easier. And I didn't want to be known to be a quitter, so I said, all right, well, I'm just going to go out there, I'm going to play point by point. And so every opportunity that I had, I'd go for shots, and, and they just started going in. And before I know it, you know, he double faults and, on match point, and it was unbelievably emotional, you know, for a lot of different reasons. Um, and maybe that match wouldn't have meant as much if I had not gone on to win. And I remember that trophy. Gosh, that trophy was so stinking heavy. You see all these French Open champions, they go, they take that trophy and they go like that, and no problem. And here I am, 17 years old, and I grab this trophy, and I'm going, I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't hardly lift that thing. Words cannot describe the feeling of being up there at that age, hoisting the trophy after two unbelievable weeks.